I'm Sylvie Williams. I'm GM Business Development for Future Fuels in Shell. Um, what is the difference between natural gas and gas to liquids? Natural gas is um, a gaseous or a vapor, whereas gas to liquids is um, a liquid fuel, a diesel type fuel um, that we make from natural gas. And it's a gasoline liquid or a diesel liquid? It's a diesel type uh, liquid, so it, you, it, you can use it in diesel engines. Um, it uses existing uh, diesel infrastructure, so you can, you can supply it to a retail site um, through a pump, um, into an existing engine. You don't have to convert the engine. Is it, what, do you know a percentage of how much cleaner it is than uh, your diesel that you use in Europe? Well, generally, the particulates are reduced by 25 to 40 percent in, in cars, um, and the NOx by about 5 percent. Um, but in heavy duty vehicles, you can have more than double um, the NOx reduction. Uh, and indeed, in, in California, we recently received certification for an 11% NOx reduction for GTL fuel. So, diesel vehicle, how much GTL can you put into diesel to use in, the, in, a, co in a vehicle? You can use it 100% neat in uh, a diesel vehicle. You get, um, obviously, you get a proportion of the benefits if you blend it with diesel. So, if you had a 50% blend, then you'd have 50% of the emission benefits. So, um, because GTL is produced um, in either Malaysia or in Qatar uh, in the Middle East, um, what you have to remember is we have to bring the, the fuel into the US or into Europe, so there would be a freight cost in addition to conventional diesel. This is standard diesel made from crude oil refined, and this is GTL, and as you can see it's almost clear and um, it has no smell compared to diesel. And I did just smell the two of them, and of course the one in your right hand, left to the camera, is smells just like diesel, and the other one has no, almost no smell, no at, smell all. at all. And that's because it doesn't have any aromatics uh, in it, and it's the aromatics that give it that uh, pungent smell. In your diesel that you have in Europe right now, the V-Power diesel as we know it, which uh, you, you say is the cleanest, that must have some GTL in it. Um, the V-Power diesel, you, you, correct, we, we supply in 11 countries now, um, and that has a, a, a component of GTL in it. But the, um, uh, if, you, if you like, the reason for having a premium diesel is for those people with modern diesel cars that want extra performance. So it delivers more power for longer um, in the engine with, with the, the additives as well as the, the GTL fuel. And the, uh, the difference in price between the diesel in Europe and the diesel V-Power? Do, I do know there is um, a 5 or 10 percent premium, yes, okay. which is, um, and it's very popular in, uh, in, in Europe um, because people who spend money on um, advanced diesel engines are looking for an advanced diesel fuel to put in it. it it gives them a much smoother acceleration um, and I think people who enjoy driving um, can tell the difference between the conventional diesel and, and the power diesel. Is there a difference between 100% GTL uh, on miles per gallon and 100% diesel? Um, some, some cars would show a 2 or 3% um, reduction in miles per gallon, but at most cars you wouldn't notice the difference. Yeah. And it completely outweighs the cleanliness that you, you get. Yes, indeed, yes. And it depends how you drive your car as to what miles per gallon you get. That's true. Sylvia Williams, thank you very much. Thank you.